Hello everyone, uh, I am Dr. Monica. I work as consultant reproductive medicine at 49 Hospital, Dilshuknagar branch. Today I want to discuss about a very delicate and a sensitive topic only, that is uh, sexual dysfunction. So sexual dysfunction, it can be defined as uh, any kind of problem that is obstructing the course of the sexual activity might be in the male or in the female. So this is how it ends up causing both psychological and also physiological problems. Now the whole act of sexual intercourse, it starts off with libido, the basic sexual desire, be it in a man or a woman. And then it goes up to arousal where the hormones are rising and then there is an orgasm and then there is a resolution. So in among these phases, if any phase is affected, then it is a sexual dysfunction. The sexual dysfunction can have various components. One is it could be a very low sexual desire. Next is there can be low testosterone level hormones in the male or there can be a premature ejaculation. So the ejaculation from the male is happening way before in a very few seconds of uh, maybe the intercourse or the penetration. And then we have uh, erectile dysfunction and then we have the delayed ejaculation. So today I want to discuss in detail about the erectile dysfunction. So erectile dysfunction is nothing but there is some difficulty in either attaining the erection of penis or in maintaining that erection of penis for a longer time. So this is what is erectile dysfunction. Many of the couples when they arrive, especially most of the gynecologists or the fertility specialists, they happen to be ladies. So what happens is the men tend to confide this history, they do not come open about it and uh, that is a problem because they treat it like a stigma. I want to clear the air in today's discussion to make sure that you come out with this problem and explain it so that we can provide you with the solutions and options because this kind of a problem as long as you keep it with you it's not only going to be creating some kind of obstruction to the treatment but also as a wife and husband the relationship is going to be affected because of this in erectile dysfunction it can have both the causes it can be psychological or it can be organic so when I say psychological, there is some kind of stress in daily life or some performance anxiety or some event in their life that's causing depression. So these can be some factors that can cause erectile dysfunction. Next coming to organic causes. So in organic causes, we have some solid reason or in functioning which is causing this erectile dysfunction. So one main cause starting is vascular. So when I say vascular, it can be a stroke which has occurred in the past or some cardiovascular problem in the man or diabetes uncontrolled sugars or it can be some uh, hypertension arteriosclerotic disease as in lots of cholesterol accumulation in the vessels so all these can be certain reasons why the person is facing erectile dysfunction next coming to endocrine causes so in endocrine causes it can be low testosterone levels hypogonadism when there is not adequate hormone being released either from the brain giving the signal to the testis or uh, low levels of test, uh, testosterone being produced in the testis. So this can be one. And then we have certain medical reasons. Like there are patients for depression or for any psychological reasons are uh, consulting a psychiatrist and they are on some medication uh, prescribed by the psychiatrist. There are certain antidepressants or an antipsychotic medications which can have the side effects of causing erectile dysfunction in the man. So these are the areas both psychological and organic. Now coming to solutions, uh, top most obviously would be cognitive behavioral therapy where uh, psychologically we tend to attend to the patients, explain them the reasons or what are the solutions and find out from them what could be the causes. So basic counseling might help in most of the couples. Now coming to let us say they have some organic cause, then cognitive behavioral therapy might not be helpful. We have to attend to the cause, see if there is some medication causing it we could uh, replace it with something else or find if the sugars are not under control in the person diabetes is not under control then make sure that we change certain medication or add insulin to get those under control or certain lifestyle changes and exercises so other mechanical devices we have some vacuum pumps which can cause the erection of the penis and there are surgeries where we implant prosthetic devices in the penis which will help to maintain the erection of the penis 
so these are the various solutions so i would uh, request all the men to not confide the history when they come with their wives to the couples to be open about it or at least meet a dedicated angrologist to explain those issues because 90% of the times they can be cured by just counseling so i request you all to take the help that you need thank you above 35 years and getting pregnant so what are these these i am talking about are medical conditions that can complicate the pregnancy